What are financial institutions? Financial institutions could be banks, credit unions, or saving banks. There are Three. five advantages to using a financial institution. Number one is safety. It is risky to keep your money in cash. It could get lost, stolen, or even destroyed in an unexpected way like a house fire. Number two is convenience. By using a financial institution, you don't have to carry large amounts of money with you. Number three is security. Almost all banks nowadays are FDIC secured, meaning that if such events such as a bank run would occur, the government insures up to $250,000 of your money. Banks aren't the only way of storing your money. Banking alternatives include, but are not limited to, checking cashing services, money transfers or remittances, payday loans, prepaid cards, online banks, and online lenders. Money transfers or remittances can be a clever way to stay diversified and lay your nest egg somewhere safe. Money transfers can be used to buy a property in foreign place, pay tuition, and provide emergency support to family members. Payday loans are small loans usually due in full on your next payday. How to build your emergency fund. I think it's important to know why you should do one first. And then reality is we don't know what's going to happen in the future. So having like a savings cushion that is used for unexpected circumstances is something that is good. A good thing to do is automation. Make find a way to deduct a little bit from your, uh, maybe your salary for it. And a good way to do it or like an incentive to use is to f put it into a compound interest rate, a savings account. That way you also have the incentive of making it grow. Now, with all this talk about banks and accounts, it's crazy that we haven't talked about the accounts themselves. So with that being said, there's two types of accounts. Checking accounts, which these are going to be the most liquid ones. This is where you're going to do your deposits, withdrawals, purchases, and bill pays. And then there are the savings accounts. Savings accounts are a safe place to put your money. They accrue a little percentage of their savings as interest, but they have withdrawing limits, making it not as a liquid place to put your money as a checking account. This recording, okay. ATM and bank cards. They both share the ability to withdraw from ATMs. The debit card can be also used to pay for things. Online banking. If you would like to stay away from physical banks, then this is for you. They provide an easy, accessible, and convenient way to manage your accounts, check balances, pay bills, track spending, and transfer funds. Some of them even have a mobile app that can make it even more convenient. 